6 has team coverage tonight breaking down what this all means for you. And first, we start with an exclusive as we take you inside the mind of a hacker. Fox 46's Ryan Kruger spoke with a former hacker who actually spent time in federal prison. Ryan. Yeah, Lindsay, he actually tells me he never got caught hacking. That's an important part of the story. He says he went to jail because someone overheard him talking on the phone. But he tells me most hackers, they'll never spend a day in prison. I was busted in 1997 when mm -hmm. the feds came in. At that point, we were doing a million dollars a week. Greg Evans used to call himself a high-tech hustler, ripping off companies for years. Today, he's the director of the National Cybersecurity Training Academy. He teaches companies how to stay safe from hackers. You know, were you political? Were you, uh, like, what was your what was your motivation? Just to make money? Just to make money. That's the exact same thing that the hacker group Darkside says on their website. The FBI says they're the group behind the hack of Colonial Pipeline. It's still not clear how they got in. This should have never happened if the people on top was making sure that the IT team were prepared. On its website, Darkside claims to have hacked dozens of companies across the country. Evan says that's the biggest difference between today's hackers and the high-tech hustlers that he used to be a part of. We didn't have websites. We, there was no social media. We didn't brag about what we did. None of that stuff that you see today. And cybercrime is now a bigger global criminal enterprise than even the global drug trade. In fact, this year alone, cybercrime is estimated to cost the world more than $6 trillion. We're live tonight in Charlotte. Ryan Kruger. Fox 46.